I really feel uh, fortunate and privileged to be here on the 97th uh, birth anniversary of Bhagwan Shri Satya Sai Baba today in Putparthi. Uh, it is really uh, heartening to and feel really proud to see the huge seva activities that he has set up as per the Indian uh, cultural ethos. I can say Sarvay Janaha Sukhino Bhavantu. The uh, education, the health support that uh, uh, Bhagwan Shri Satya Sai Ji has started for the... Uh, he actually probably initially started for the people of Putparthi. But today it has grown to all over India, all over the world. And uh, the way uh, the next generation is taking it forward on the path led by him is something wonderful. And uh, like they were mentioning about the renewable energy, like the entire, every setup is uh, solar uh, power. It is something which is heartening and Seva is, that's what he said, is love everyone, love the nature, love the... Uh, environment, the life are all around. And uh, Seva is not just supporting human beings, but also create a sustainable environment wherein uh, we can have the peace and the uh, uh, our uh, relation with the nature and the great Indian culture always spoken about all these things. And I am so happy the uh, although physical form, um, uh, today Swamiji is not there with him, but he is there with all the devotees, he is there in each one of them. That's why they are able to take the work forward. And I had the opportunity to uh, visit this uh, great divine place when Swamiji was there. In fact, once it was uh, so happened that it was just I came with uh, one of the tallest leaders of India, Sri L.K. Adwani ji along with uh, Anand Kumar ji, Adwani ji's daughter Pratibha ji and myself, four of us with uh, Swami ji, we had the opportunity to be there with him for half an hour and heard his uh, uh, great uh, uh, pre uh, preachings and talks. They were, both of them were discussing and Anand Kumar ji was also there. And couple of times I have come with Sri Anand Kumar since, nine, I think once in 99, and then in 2002 or something. Always it has been a great experience, great learning. And this time uh, on a Women's Day, uh, I participated in the uh, birthday celebration. And it was so nice to see the discipline, the way everything is organized. And most important is the way uh, the volunteers are doing the work selflessly, very clean, very neat. It is something to for all of us, those who are in public life, uh, to learn this, try to implement in our works and also tell others that how it can still happen and it can happen only in India. I always looked at any work what we are doing is not, I don't know how much I'll be able to support them, but it is like supporting uh, myself. Uh, I always feel any work I have taken is not to help others, but help myself. Is uh, that, that is one thing I have always. And any challenge or anything, I have a habit of analyzing it, why, why it happened, understand why it happened, and then try to solve from a smaller, smaller side of it, I can say. If you look at a bigger thing, then you are getting scared. So, uh, finally, God lives in details. So get break it up into smaller uh, things and try to address. That's what I actually I learned this from Shri Kumar. So he always used to say it. Uh, get into details, planning in advance, planning, expect, uh, like maybe even in uh, I as an engineer in working for aircraft, uh, looking for the reliability factor, uh, assessing the various problems that we face. Uh, if we plan before, if you know before that uh, this may also come, this may also happen. Uh, probably it doesn't look as a challenge. So that is one of that is going to happen, but has not happened. So that we should look at that way. So especially in cooking, I have seen all those getting into details, planning it in advance, every small thing, every small detail, uh, bring in more and more people into the stream and share your uh, difficulties also. 
so you don't take all the difficulties on your sing on your head so sh- when you share the work share the difficulties share the success Uh, yeah uh, definitely that day is visible because of uh, two three couple of things one is our the long history uh, the way our people our uh, ancestors have given solutions to every problem of the earth or the universe now last 30 40 years we are able to see all those once is this is 75th year of our independence Uh, although we say we would have done much much better in 75 years but still in this 75 years we have tried as an independent uh, people free person we are able to uh, see so many things with clear eyes uh, our languages our archaeology the temples our elders built the science the medic uh, the medicines and that is still there it is not just uh, in the museum it is still there within us we are not able to see it is probably so when it has survived so many odds i am sure it will it will grow uh, we need to understand that and uh, we i always feel in our country you know it is when even when you looked at the covid period the way people came out and helped others the way we faced nobody thought uh, population with such a big population what will happen when covid comes but the way our people uh, faced it faced the challenges and came out is one example that we have that intrinsic strength that we call it as adhamya chetana that potential to do is one thing second we have a very good leadership which has started looking at our culture have confidence that is creating uh, confidence within us and of course as we all know we are a country with big number of youngsters youngsters always come with innovation come with uh, ready to face the challenges so the challenge be, uh, before us is how do we bring the uh, what the whole concept of vasudeva kutumbakam which is there where swami vekananda also spoke about it the very words of my brothers and sisters He is looking the whole world as family He is the indian philosophy and it is there in our blood it is there in our genes and i am sure these three things together identifying that potential within us the environment that is conducive today and the whole world in 5 6 years like rightly said has started accepting and started seeing the great history of india and the potential of our country and our youth i am sure will definitely make india vishwa guru hope we will be able to see it with our own eyes <laughs> and be there and see that happy moment like i said especially for the people in public life those who are involved in seva activities the uh, satya bhagwan satya sai baba's works his life and the uh, way he has uh, created all his institutions uh, are something are exemplary Uh, so many things are discipline the cleanliness and more important like the volunteers how they are interacting with each other how they are able to contribute come all over come from all over india and getting involved uh, these are all the wonderful things i want to take it back to my organization and try to implement i am really blessed and happy to be here in putparthi <laughs>